What's up guys, Charlie here and today I have good news. Uh, the Dexcom G7 is now on. Well, actually it's been out for a while, but I just got my hands on it. I, I went for my regular checkup with my doctor and she recommend that um, I get the Dexcom. Now, if you're a diabetic, if you're type two or type one diabetic, I'm telling you, this is a game changer. Have to have this. So this is the Dexcom G7, the CGM, continuous glucose monitoring. So it monitors your glucose 24 seven there's built-in alarms there's graph there's everything you need um, whenever you eat something sweet whenever you eat a banana it tells you how much your glucose goes up so you know what food will spike your sugar so this is a new g7 um, the old one the g6 this is it there it's still around i still have a bunch of it lying around that i have to finish using before i really start using this on, on like regularly so right now you can see I have my G6 right there. So this is all in one and if I open it up, the only thing you're missing to complete this is a display, like a little LCD display. But if you have your smartphone like I do, you just have to download the app so you don't need the display. So it's gonna cut down on the price for you. If you have insurance, like for me, I have insurance. So when I go and pick it up from CVS or from Walgreens, it's usually a zero. So I don't pay nothing. This is it right there. Just like, like a little cup, unscrew, Put on your hands. It actually comes with one adhesive pack that you can use after you put it on, you put this over it. These usually last 10 days. That's why you have a box of three right there. So every 10 days it expires and you replace it with a new, a new one. After 10 days, it do give you, um, I think 12 hours extra. So it gives you time. Here we go. We have our wipes. I'm just gonna clean the area right there. You can see I have my old one there, which I have to remove. I can restart this one, which I, Plan to do. Go. Gonna unscrew this. If you look deep down inside here, there's a small needle right inside. There, you can see the needle. You're basically not gonna feel nothing from there. So we're gonna put this one right there like this. Just kind of push it down and press. It's my finger right here. And I actually felt nothing. And this kind of around here. And once you put it on. Even though you haven't um, hooked it up to the app, the 30 minutes countdown is already have already started. They did send you one of these so you can put this on. And then we can just peel this out, go to our phone and download the app. So here we go, the G7 app. We're gonna install it. So we're gonna get our login information and put in there and then we'll go from there. So we just logged in with our account. I'm using the same account that I use for my G6. And we're just gonna confirm. Again, it tells you, you can use either, you can use your smartphone or the Dexcom receiver. Okay, click allow. Bluetooth permission, allow access. I want to make sure that, especially on Android devices, you're going to allow, and that's where you're going to go on your device and get your code, 23, you can see mine is 2392. It might do a Bluetooth pairing request, say yes, and warm up. And you can see it, it says 14 minutes for warm up because as soon as you put it on, which I did about 16 minutes ago, it's already started the process of warming up, so you only have 14 minutes left, I understand. So here we go. So the sensor is done setting up and it's, I like the interface so far compared to the one of the G6. So you can see everything is there at your fingertip. Um, it shows you the general number up here, what it is right now. So mine is 135. Um, it just started, so we still haven't got a proper graph there, but you're gonna have a long graph there. You can choose six, you can choose three, six, 12 and 24 our graph, so that's pretty impressive. Shows your time, you can go down here. Clarity is building right in there and normally Clarity will be on a different app. You'd have to go to your computer or a different app to get Clarity, but that's there so you can look at 14 days and get a rundown on there. So that's pretty impressive. Also, you have a time range. It gives you a range. So, so far, been, it's been very good 100% because again, I'm at 135. It just started. You have a history area there. If you were, if you want to input how much um, insulin that you 
that you put in, you can put that in there, enter different stuff, what you ate, how many carbs, activities, because we know if we have um, you know, activities like running and walking, like it help with your numbers. So that's pretty impressive also. So there you have connection. Um, it gives you all the information on your sensor, connection, your, your code, and when it started, and when it's gonna end, when it's gonna expire and all that stuff is right here and then you have your profile and you can go in there and, and change different stuff your alerts on there you can put when you want it to be your alert to come on what kind of sound um or if it goes too high um what number you want it to come on and all that kind of stuff so pretty pretty well a well-made app 